Hello Tricksters, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we shall discuss on how to build a webhook based extension in Click. Here is our agenda. We will start with an introduction about extensions in Click. Then we will see how webhook based extensions work with the help of an architectural diagram and its advantages. In the later part of the video, we will gear up to create a simple webhook based extension and see how to deploy it in Heroku. A typical extension is an addition to an existing product, thereby extending its capabilities. Likewise, Click extensions help in the necessary customization in terms of any integration or standalone use case implementation required for any organization. An extension in Click is typically a bundle of all the integration components, such as widgets, bots, commands, message actions, functions, schedulers, and databases. Click extensions can be built in three ways. Well, the first option is using Deluge, which is Zoho's own coding language. The second option is by connecting with Zoho Catalyst, which is a serverless cloud platform. The third and final option is by connecting to cloud platforms using webhooks. In this video, we are going to discuss on how to create Click extension using this method, which is using webhooks. This slide shows how webhook-based extensions work behind the scene. Whenever a user interacts with a platform component, an HTTP POST request will be made to the configured callback to order. We can host a server in any cloud platforms like Google Cloud, Azure, or AWS and configure the respective callback URL in the Click extension. In this example, we're going to be connecting our extension with Heroku. Here's a brief on how the extension works with the cloud platform. Once the request is triggered, the server will have to process and return the response in any of the predefined JSON formats. For example, the response can be in the form of a banner or a message card that will be rendered in Click. Now, you might be asking, why do we need to use webhook-based extensions? From the architecture in the previous slide, we can see that the application server is independent. Therefore, we can use any programming language to build the server. There are no structural limitations for the database. That is, we are free to go with any database model to implement a robust solution to solve business use cases. In this part, we will recreate a simple webhook-based extension called Expense Manager. This extension will have an Expense Manager bot with two bot actions, forms, message cards, banners, and a database to store user credentials and expenses. There are two bot actions, Add Expense Bot Action and View Expense Bot Action. The add expense bot action is used to add new expenses, which will form a which will open a form where we can enter the amount and category. The view expense bot action is used to see what we have spent this week or month or year. It should be noted technically an HTTP post request will be sent to the callback URL when the user clicks the bot action or upon submitting the form. Let's learn how to build such an extension now. It should be noted that there are some prerequisites for creating a webhook based extension in Click, and you should have the latest version of Node.js installed in your PC. You should also have MongoDB, Git, NGROC, and the Heroku CLI installed in your PC as well. Head over to click.zoho.com slash developer. To create an extension, click on the create extension button. Here you have to give the name of your extension. Let's give it a name of Expense Manager. Here in the description text box, you just have to give a short description of your extension. Let's say something like note down and keep track of all your expenses. Uh, the execution type has to be webhook based and the callback URL is something that you don't have to worry about it right now but since this is a mandatory text box we'll just take the URL of this web page and post it here we'll change it afterwards after that we need to add components so let's add a bot it's going to be expense manager bot description to and you are expenses 
and we need to enable a welcome handler and the bot actions are going to be add expense view expense and settings and now we just click on add and the bot's added we need to add two more functions first one is a button function and it's going to be expense manager button <coughs> we add it and we add another function which is going to be a form function For this extension, we are deactivating the installation validator and the installation handlers. If you want to know more about these handlers, follow the link in the info part. Now click on create extension. You can download the source code for the expense manager extension from the link in the description below. As you can see, I've already downloaded the source code. Here, let's take a look at the database model. We are using uh, Mongoose on top of Mongo database for all database operations. Here we have two models, the user model and the expense model. The user model is used to store the user ID and the currency, while the expense model is used to store amount, category, note, and date. The application starts from the index.js file. We have used Express.js framework to build the server. The app controller handles all, all of the requests to the slash API slash v1 slash expenses endpoint. When the request hits the server, we will verify the signature and pass the flow to the app service. App service, app service is where all our business logic is implemented. We can use handlers, we use handlers to handle all the bot and function components. The database util will have all the functions required for database operations, while the common util contains basic functions like encryption, decryption, data formatting, etc. Now we shall install the independencies by typing the command npm install in the Windows terminal. Before starting the app server, you should set the app credentials and secret keys in the devkeys.js file. You can find them in the click.joho.com slash developer page. Click on your extension and click on the connectors tab. And here you can find your sandbox key and your signature of your extension. You can copy the app key and the signature from the web page and paste it here. Just copy, copy the sandbox version and paste it. And then you can copy the signature and public it. For the MongoDB URI, you can copy the connection string from your MongoDB and paste it here. Don't forget to change your password. Replace this with your password. Now you can save and close your code. It should be noted that the dev keys to a JSON file is only meant for development and testing, while the prod keys JSON file is meant for production. Now let's start the server in development with the command npm space run space dev. Now, the server should be listening to the port 8080 in localhost. We will use ngrock to expose our localhost to the internet. 
To do that, open ngwalk and type in the command ngwalk space http space 8080. Now you can use this URL as a callback to our server. Go back to clickzoho.com slash developer, find your extension and click on modify. Paste the callback URL that you just copied from ngrock and don't forget to add the endpoint at the end of the callback URL. Click on save. Now let's head back to Click and check if the extension is working. Find the expense manager bot and add an expense. Click on add expense to add the expense and enter the amount. Let's say I want to add an amount of rupees 1200 as food and expenses for the team. Click on add. Now you can see that the expense has been added. Click on view expense. Now I want to see the expenses for this month. Now that we have our app server ready, let's make it available to end users. To make it happen, we will deploy this new JS server in Heroku, which is a cloud platform to host applications. Please ensure that the Heroku CLI is installed in your machine. Now go to the terminal and you can log into Heroku by typing the command Heroku space login. This will log you into Heroku. Press any button and this will open your browser. Click on login and log into your account. Log into your Heroku account. Now to create an app on Heroku, go back to the terminal and type in the command Heroku space create space your, the name of your extension. Here, I've named the extension as click-ext-expense-manager, but you can use whatever name you want for your extension, and click on enter. This will also create an empty git repository. Now, oh, you need to add all the app credentials as Heroku app configs. Heroku will set these app configs as environmental variables. To do that, execute the following command. This is the syntax of the command. You need to replace the signature, sandbox, app key, and the database URI with your own keys. With your own keys. Copy the signature of your extension and paste it here. Then copy your sandbox uh, sandbox app key and Paste it here and copy your Mongo database URL and paste it here. Make sure to replace your password with your actual password of the of your Mongo database. Copy the whole code and go to the Go to your Windows terminal and paste it. Remember to at the end press space and uh, minus A equals enter your exp uh, extension name. Here it's going to be click minus ext minus expense manager and enter. Let's go to code to Heroku by executing the command git space add space dot. next command will be git space commit space minus m space shell commit. Type in the code git space push space Heroku space master. It should be noted that whenever we push changes to Heroku's main branch, Heroku will take care of deploying it to the server and updating the build. Once the build is completed, update the Heroku app URL as the extension callback URL on Click's developer page.
Now let's try adding another expense just to make sure that everything is working as expected. As you can see, the expense that we added just now has been added to the database. So the extension is working perfectly good. And now finally, we are ready to publish the extension. Go to the Click Developer page and click on the Publish button for our extension. This will take us to the Extension Publish page where we can provide the extension details and add pricing details if required. I'm going to mark this as free and agree to the terms and click on Publish. This will publish the extension and generate an extension installation link that can be shared while submitting your extension for review. After publishing an extension, don't forget to replace the Sandbox app key, which you use to test your extension, with the Marketplace app key. I hope you got some idea on how webhook-based extensions can be created and how to publish them in Click. Follow us on Facebook to get the latest updates on Click Tricks. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorial videos and recorded webinars. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.